So what's going on guys, welcome to another tutorial in Adobe Edge Animate. This tutorial is going to be for beginners and what I'm going to show you how to do is create a symbol and also explain what exactly symbols are in Edge Animate. So let's get started, I'm going to select the ellipse tool here and we're going to create a shape. So we have a circle right there. And by the way, if you don't have a project opened or you want to create a new one, just go File New and you can select it and create a project. So what we're going to do is right click on this shape and we're going to select Convert to Symbol. And I'll call it Shape. Next, I'm going to double click on this circle with my left mouse. And then right over here, we're just going to give it a simple animation. Scrub to the beginning of the timeline, select one keyframe for the x-axis, and we're going to scrub right there. And you see it's a simple animation. And then what we could also do is adjust the transparency if we wanted to. And then select another one for the transparency. So as you see, we have a symbol with a simple animation. Now when you think about this and you're looking at the symbol, you want to do something. So what we can also do within the symbol is apply actions to it. And a simple action would be to open up a URL. So the first thing I'm going to do before we do that is just select the cursor and make sure when somebody hovers over this, they're going to see a pointer. Next what we'll do is open actions and select click because the user is going to left click on this. We're going to select links and then we're going to either choose link in the same window which is also known as underscore self when you're coding or link in a new window which is also known as underscore blank. So what we're going to select is link in the same window. And then it says adobe.com but I'm going to change this and of course I'm going to promote my own channel <laughs> and select Adobe Easy Tips and as I said before it shows you an underscore self for the same window. So this is pretty cool because it also teaches you what some of these things mean. So we're going to close that out and we're going to go back to the stage up here. So we have a simple animation and then when the user clicks this circle it's going to take you to my channel. But say that you wanted to do this more than once and you want to have different buttons and you want to have two. You want to have one button goes to my channel and then we can make the other button go to the Adobe website because the people at Adobe are pretty cool. So what we can do is right click on the symbol, select duplicate, and for the second one we can rename it and we can call it shape2. Next I'm going to take this shape2 symbol, bring it on the timeline, and as you see there's a guide here that snaps it with the other symbol. And then if I scrub on the timeline we have two animations. But the situation here is that this second symbol, it's the same color and also it's taking me to the same website. So obviously we want to change that. So just double click on the symbol and we'll change the color. We'll make it pink. Why not? Also what we want to do is change the URL. So select it, right click, select open actions. And instead of the YouTube channel, we're just going to have it go to adobe.com. And also let's not forget to put a stop trigger so this doesn't repeat. Right here we're going to put control T, select playback, and then select stop. Let's test this out, control enter. One button goes to my YouTube channel, and then one button goes to the Adobe website. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this intro tutorial on symbols in Adobe Edge Animate. Of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and support this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.